Hi, this is the Ask Steve Show, and this is Steve. And today we're going to do a how to segment, and it's going to be how to load a ribbon into the Evelis Pebble 4 printer. Um, and as always, we're going to have the bad photo ID of the day at the end of the show. Um, so stay tuned for that. Before we get started on the how to segment, I want to talk a little bit about the Evelis uh, Pebble 4 printer here. It is a discontinued printer, um, but ID Edge will support it as long as we can get parts. They came with a three year warranty printer and print head. So if you purchased one within the last three years, it might be, it should be under warranty. Um, if you're not sure, give us a call and we will help you uh, determine if it's covered under warranty. If not, we can help you fix any problems that you have. This printer is a real workhorse. So we will help you in any way we can to help you keep it going um, and save you the money of not having to buy a new printer and, and keeping your costs down in that way. Um, so as promised, we're going to do a how to load the ribbon in the Evelis Pebble 4 printer. And from our tech department, we have a guest host, which is Douglas, and he's going to show us how to load the ribbon. Thank you, Steve. All right. Um, so the ribbon comes in this container. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, tear it open, uh, and it comes in a bag like this. Um, you're going to open the bag, and when you first pull it out, stuck together um, so you don't have to worry about it falling all over the ground um, so once you pull it out you want to there's a, the button is right here and you'll push it and then pull up and so now that's ready to go when entering the ribbon into the printer um, you can peel that off um, and I like to roll it up a tiny bit um, until you reach the color and then the next thing is on these you see the dials or the gear looking ends to the ribbon um, and you're going to see a gear here and a gear here. Um, this one's kind of hidden but it's down there and you can see it from looking straight over it. Um, and then from there you're going to want to line it up. So the smaller one goes in front. The smaller one goes in front. Um, it's going to go over the top and not under. Um, so that's another way to know. And then the back one will drop in there as well. Um, from there close the little bit top and you're ready to go right as you can hear it self calibrates itself thank you Douglas as promised here's the bad photo ID of the day and while you're looking at that if you have any questions please uh, submit them to us on our Facebook page on our website our website is idedge.com or you can call us at 800-798-3343